What's going on guys? It's Andrew here and welcome back to my channel where we talk about social security changes, the next two stimulus packages, and daily news updates as well. Yes, there are new $1,000 stimulus checks being sent, so let's discuss exactly who qualifies. We also have huge updates on the next stimulus package as Democrats are racing to get that done as soon as possible. So let's discuss the details in this video, but before we do, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. I also have a second channel, so if you could do me a huge favor, click on the link that's in the description of this video. Go ahead and subscribe to my second channel. I'm going to be giving away a stimulus check on that channel just as a thank you for supporting my work. Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about a brand new program for $1,000 stimulus checks, an additional program that could give you a $100 stimulus check, as well as current updates on the next stimulus package. Democrats plan to get the American Family Stimulus Package done soon, and that could include a fourth round of stimulus checks. It could include monthly stimulus checks for Social Security benefits, and could even include monthly stimulus checks for all adults who make under $90,000 per year. But before we jump into it, let's do a quick update on daily trending news. Now, currently trending is the fact that the eviction ban is back in place. Now, earlier this week, the eviction ban expired, which meant that millions of Americans could have been evicted from their homes because they were behind on their payments due to the pandemic. Now, at the very last minute, President Biden and the CDC expanded this by an additional additional two more months, which means that the eviction ban is now good until October. This is really, really good news for millions of Americans who have been struggling because of this pandemic, but a lot of landlords are extremely upset. And guys, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. But a large group of landlords, a coalition of 11 housing industry groups, are actually suing the CDC for extending this ban. So guys, if you're behind on your rent or if you know someone who is, this eviction ban is currently in place, but there is a lawsuit against the CDC, so there is a chance they could actually take this eviction ban away once again. So things are up in the air, but we should know in the next few weeks whether or not the CDC is actually allowed to extend this eviction ban. Now, a few weeks ago, the Supreme Court actually said the CDC was not allowed to extend it, but they went ahead and extended it anyway. So we'll have to wait and see what happens, guys. But as things stand right now, evictions have been frozen. But with this new lawsuit against the CDC, things are up in the air and the eviction ban could end quicker than October. But I will keep you posted as soon as we have more updates. Now, also in trending news, because the eviction ban was ending, a single mother with three daughters was forced to sell her blood to pay her rent, and she was facing eviction. She actually started a GoFundMe fundraiser for her and her family, and people across the country donated $170,000 in less than 24 hours just to help this good family get through this pandemic. So guys, it's really good to see people helping people. The majority of people who donated were not rich. People like you and me who are just struggling to get by and found $20, $30, $40 to help a fellow person get through this pandemic. And guys, this story is so touching, especially given all of the divide we've had these last couple of years in this country. To see thousands of Americans come together to help this family is such a beautiful thing. And the mom who actually received these donations did an interview this week. So let's take a look, see what she had to say, and then we'll jump right into updates on the next stimulus package and this new program, which is sending $1,000 stimulus checks to certain Americans who qualify. I'm just, I'm just sitting here looking at your precious little kids. Um, so I know yesterday, look, you were in desperate need of help. You, were, you, you shared um, with my colleague Nick the, the heartbreaking details of I'm just I'm just sitting here looking at your precious little kids. Um, so I know yesterday, look, you were in desperate need of help. You were you, you shared um, with my colleague Nick the, the heartbreaking details of, of what you and those three little girls are enduring, and it resonated with people. Um, people so far have donated eighty-nine thousand dollars, and I just wanted to read a few of the messages that some of these people uh, left for you, Kelly, and for your uh, little girls. So one person gave twenty-five dollars and said, quote, I understand struggle. I don't have a lot, but I have enough to help another. Bless you and the adorable girls. And then someone else gave $20 and they wrote, and I quote them, I saw your story and it brought a tear to my eye. 
When I saw the outpouring of love and support on your GoFundMe, it brought more tears. God bless you and your beautiful family. I hope this grows so big you can buy your own American dream. Um, and it was, it was you know, people who didn't have much, and then someone gave you nearly $2,000 and said, I'm sorry you've had to fight so hard to keep your kids safe. You are an incredible mom. Um, these are amazing things to hear, Kelly. What, what do you say to them and others like them who, who reached out to you? I, I just want to tell everybody, thank you. Sorry, excuse me. I just want to tell everybody, thank you so much. I, I'm still in denial, if you can't really tell. Um, it's a lot to take in. It's very, um, sorry, girl. It's, um, it's really overwhelming. These are tears of joy, trust me. Um, uh, I don't, I, I'm just so thankful. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I would especially like to thank, I don't know if I can, but Kim, the one who reached out to my family, I'm so thankful. I, we're so thankful for you guys because I had no idea what we were going to do. And just overnight, just overnight, all you guys just reached out and helped us and all the support, your encouraging words. Like, it's, it's, it's just gave me a lot of hope. And I just want to make sure I do the best that I can to help the next person that is in my same situation. And I just felt really blessed. And just thank you guys so much. And um, we should just let you Thank know, you so Kelly, your, the GoFundMe just um, went up to 97000 while we were speaking. So thank you. I'm sorry. Um, I was just what saying the GoFundMe say? is now at 97000 The one that was at 89 a minute ago? <laughs> yes. Is she? Yes, 97000 This is crazy. I'm sorry. This is crazy. What a difference. What a difference you can make as individual people, someone in Congress, for all of us to play such a small role in making, making a difference for one family. Thank you, Kelly. Guys, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. I just really think it's such a beautiful story to see Americans come together as a community and just truly help each other out of good faith. I mean, this mom is basically going to be able to buy a house cash at this point if she wants and it's just gosh it's truly truly incredible to see people helping each other guys and with that said let's jump right into stimulus we have a huge update on the next stimulus package the american family stimulus plan which again could include a fourth round of stimulus checks monthly stimulus checks for social security monthly stimulus checks for children and people are even now talking about monthly stimulus checks for adults as long as you make less than ninety thousand dollars per year and again we're also going to talk about that new program which could give you a one thousand dollar stimulus check and even potentially a smaller one hundred dollar stimulus check as well but first experts are saying that the possibility of a fourth stimulus check is actually increasing and the reason for this might surprise you now through all of this divide that we have in politics basically over the last decade all the democrats versus republicans all of the drama and the hates and the extreme rights versus the extreme left democrats and republicans have realized that one thing that they generally agree on is stimulus checks now i know we had some divide between mitch mcconnell they didn't want to do a two thousand dollar stimulus check but in general democrats and republicans have agreed and there is data on this that stimulus checks work. They genuinely stimulate the economy and they genuinely help the American people get by. Now, data has came out that when the first stimulus check was sent, 70% of those stimulus checks were immediately spent and immediately went into the economy, which stimulated the economy and was the point of the stimulus checks. Now, the second and third stimulus checks the majority of those actually helped the American people put food on the table, pay their rent, pay off debt, or just increase their savings for a rainy day, essentially putting the American people in a better place. And it actually reduced poverty by almost half. So see, Republicans are more concerned with stimulating the economy. Now, the first stimulus check did that. Democrats are more concerned with helping the American people. The second and third stimulus checks did that as well. So experts are saying that there is actually a growing consensus, even among Republicans, that stimulus checks genuinely worked. And on top of that, 
stimulus checks worked as far as getting reelected. Remember, Democrats won those two Senate seats in Georgia because they promised a third round of stimulus checks. They won those elections and then they delivered a third stimulus check. Currently in California, Gavin Newsom, he's up for re-election in September, and he just approved two more stimulus checks for California, and people expect him to win that election as well. So Republicans are taking notice, guys. And just in one year, in 2022, we have midterm elections in both the House and the Senate. So experts think that Democrats and Republicans are almost going to have this battle of who can promise a bigger stimulus check to help win those re-elections. Now, guys, some people think that's a little bit immoral to promise stimulus checks to win elections. Now, personally, I know the American people need help. And I know these stimulus checks are justified because you have paid taxes your entire life. So personally, I'm okay with it. But guys, let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. But in any case, experts agree that the chance for a fourth round of stimulus checks is actually increasing as time goes by. Now, let's talk about the current stimulus packages, the Infrastructure Plan and the American Family Stimulus Plan. Then we'll talk about the program for $1,000 stimulus checks and $100 stimulus checks. Now, Democrats have agreed to do a $3.5 trillion American Family Stimulus Plan, and this is twice the size of what it originally was supposed to be. Now, because of this, a lot of experts think that they could include a fourth round of stimulus checks because this is twice the size of what it originally was supposed to be, and this would end up being the largest stimulus package to date, even larger than the first stimulus package. Now, of course, Democrats are still pushing for monthly stimulus for Social Security benefits, permanently increasing Social Security benefits long term, as well as even now a new proposal for monthly stimulus checks for adults that make less than $90,000 per year. Now, this would essentially be like the child tax credit, except it would be an adult tax credit. And some people think it would be a good idea to even pay that out on a monthly basis just like the child tax credit, and again, would be about $300 per month and add up to over $3,000 per year. Now, these are all proposals that are on the table. Nothing is yet set in stone, but Democrats are getting ready to do an all-night Votorama, which you guys might be familiar with. Votorama is the term where every single senator gets a chance to add their own amendment to a bill, and this typically happens when you have a massive bill, like a stimulus package or a budget reconciliation package, which is how they're doing this stimulus package through a process called budget reconciliation, which is kind of confusing, but it's the same way they did the third stimulus check, which did not require a single Republican vote. Now, all of this is happening as the Senate races to get the physical infrastructure bill done. We expect that to get done by next week. Some Democrats are even saying they'll have it done by this weekend. And then Pelosi is demanding that they immediately do the budget reconciliation stimulus bill so they could both land on Nancy Pelosi's desk at the exact same time. Now, what's likely to happen is the infrastructure bill will get done either this weekend or next week. But then this American Family Stimulus Plan is probably going to take a couple of months. So although Democrats are going to work on getting this first step done, this all-night Votorama, that is just the first step in the process. Once that's done, every single committee will begin writing the details of the bill. That will take at least a few weeks, probably a couple of months. Then they'll have to hold one more vote, which is essentially another Votorama where they stay up all night. Every single senator gets to add their own amendments, vote to finally approve it in the Senate, then send it to the House, at which point Nancy Pelosi says she will bring both the infrastructure, physical infrastructure bill to a vote and the American Family Stimulus Package to a vote on the same day in the House. So because of this, even though the Senate is going to approve the physical infrastructure bill soon, we don't expect to have it signed into law for a couple of months because Nancy Pelosi won't get that done until the American Family Stimulus Package is done at the exact same time. So kind of confusing, but bottom line here, Democrats are racing to get this done, but the process is arduous, guys, so it's going to be at least a few more weeks. Now, in the meantime, we do have states that are constantly sending stimulus checks at the state level. This is why I make daily stimulus updates, because any day your state could do a stimulus check at the state level. Now, at the same time, we have President Biden, who is calling on states to offer a $100 cash payment, a stimulus, for everyone who gets vaccinated. Now, this was announced last week. 
We still don't have updates at the state level, but we expect a large majority of states to do this, especially Democratic states. Now, the question is, how exactly will these stimulus checks be sent? And will they send them to people who have already been vaccinated in the past? Now, we're waiting for details to come out. So, guys, please subscribe as soon as we have details on this $100 stimulus check. I will keep you updated for every single state. Now, in regards to the program for $1,000 stimulus checks, this is specifically for one company. Now, I know this can be frustrating because you probably don't qualify unless you happen to work for this company. But guys, this is a really, really good sign because experts think that more and more companies are going to begin to do this. Now, the company doing this $1,000 stimulus payment for those who get vaccinated is called Vanguard. Now, Vanguard is an investment firm and they are paying their employees $1,000 to get vaccinated. That is, guys, truly, truly amazing. Imagine if every single one of us got $1,000 to get vaccinated. Now, again, some people think you should not do that. Some people think it's almost bribing people to get vaccinated. Now, personally, this is just my opinion. I got the vaccine. I'm okay with the vaccine. I actually love seeing people get vaccinated. I truly think it's going to help us beat this pandemic. And then giving people an extra $1,000 stimulus check, hey, I think we all need the help, right? We've all been struggling through this pandemic. So the more employees do this, I think it's great for the American people. I think more stimulus is always great. So guys, again, this is just one company. I know it can be frustrating if you don't qualify, but experts think that more and more companies are going to begin to do this. So I will keep you posted as we have more announcements from more companies. And again, President Biden is asking states at the state level to give a $100 stimulus for every single person who gets vaccinated. So we'll have updates on that as well. So don't forget to subscribe. I will keep you posted on these extra stimulus checks for getting vaccinated, the next two stimulus packages, and social security updates as well. And with that said, thank you so much for watching. So until the next video, take care and have a great day.